fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts, this is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another tutorial. Now, before I begin the tutorial, I just need to really give a shout out to my subscribers. Thank you so much. Earlier this week, I hit a thousand, and I really just can't believe it. I can't believe that uh, my little videos have sparked that much interest and enthusiasm. So I want to say thank you to everyone and I wouldn't be here without you. Well, now tonight, I'm gonna show you something really cool that can help you make your scenes and save memory. And that is working with what we call instances. And so I have Milika here and she's kind of set up in a uh, Egyptian costume and she's near a pyramid and she looks sort of like a goddess here standing there i mean milika is a goddess but she literally is an egyptian goddess standing in front of a pyramid now instances are gonna help us add items like figures or props to our scene without eating up a lot of memory and so what I want to show you is how we can add characters like this Egyptian guy and we can add multiple characters to create perhaps a crowd or a group of people without using the Genesis 3 or Genesis 8 or Genesis 9 characters that are going to eat up a lot of memory. Now, you may be aware that the more characters we add to a scene, the more memory it takes to manipulate the scene as well as render the scene. So we want to keep the amount of characters that we use in a scene to a minimum. Now, there are some definite advantages for instances and some definite disadvantages to instances. So let's look at our man character here. And you can see I just kind of have a general, uh, this is a Genesis 3 character because the Egyptian clothes were Genesis 3. So I just created a Genesis 3 um, character here. But he's kind of a, you know, a typical character with some Egyptian garb. What I want to do is I want to make a lot of people, a lot of these guys kind of kneeling around Milica on the side here in the sand. And so she's going to be kind of standing and we're going to have a bunch of characters out in this area kind of just kneeling. Now, instances work really well if we want to uh, have the background, let's say, out of focus. We, we're going to zoom in on Milica, but kind of have the background blurry because what instances are going to do is they are going to create an exact copy of our character, but it's going to be an instance of this character. So we can't really change anything. And unfortunately, we can't delete our main character. So what I'm going to do to show you this is let's click on this Genesis 3 male. I'm going to go back to camera three and I'm going to come up here to create and we're going to sh first show you one instance. So we're going to go down to create a new node instance. And when I do that, it's going to give me this box. We can rename things if we want to, but I'm just going to hit accept. And you can see what it did is it created a second character, an exact, we could say, clone of the original character, except this is an instance. So he's not going to be eating up a bunch of memory. And so we can use him to make a crowd. All right. Now here is what's really wild is I'm going to put this instance character kind of behind the original. You can see that they are exactly the same. If I go to pose my character, and uh, let's just choose any pose. It doesn't matter. You can see the original character and the instance is going to go into the exact same position. So, and it, the advantage is that this is going to create a bunch of characters for us. The disadvantage is 
they're going to be exactly the same. Now watch what's cool is, look, I can change the pose and it changes both characters. So this is pretty wild, but we can create multiple characters this way. So I'm going to take this guy. Let's just delete that instance. I'm going to find a pose that I like where our character is kneeling. And with Genesis 3, I just don't use Genesis 3 all that much. So I don't have a ton of poses for him, but let's try this one. All right, not bad. We can kind of make his head going down so that it looks like he's kneeling and kind of praying. Let's rotate him. And then we're going to put them over here on the other side of Milica. So we're going to put these guys down here like this. Okay, so we've got Milica. We've got our character. Now I can add multiple figures by using the other node instance. So the first one is just new node instance where you create one. But if I select the second one, which is new node instances, it's going to um, come up with that same box, but it's going to ask me, how many do I want? So look at this. I can add, it's defaulted to 10, but I could add like 25 instances. So I'm going to get the same guy 25 times. This is what's crazy. Oh my gosh. We have like major clones. So I can now take these guys and we can pose them. Now seeing where these guys are, it might be actually easier to kind of move our scene around rather than try and pose each one of these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete those guys out of here. And I'm going to take Milica and I'm going to attach Milica to the pyramid. So she's part of the pyramid. Then I'm going to select the pyramid and we can rotate and move this pyramid. So what I'm going to do, I think, is we're going to do this first. And um, I'm going to click on my guy again. Let's go to Create New Instances. Let's go back up to 25. I like that. OK, now we've got all these guys. And I can click on the pyramid. And um, just to save time, I can adjust this pyramid better than I can adjust all of these instances. I'm going to take my original guy, we can rotate him, and we can move him into position with the clones. All right, see that looks pretty good. Okay, I do want some guys over on this side as well. So I'm going to select my original character. I'm going to go back up to create. We're going to create some more instances. Let's do 25 more. And now I've got all these duplicates, but what's really cool is all of them are under this one tab. So I've got 25 guys under this tab, so I can actually move them all at once. So we can rotate these guys around as one thing and then move them. You know what's really cool is I can move everything or I can just move one guy. So I'm going to just hit this again. Let's create a few more. Let's go to more instances. I'm going to make another group. I just duplicated 10 just to get them over here. So I'm going to line them up and see like this guy, I can just select him by himself and I can move characters by themselves too. Now what's really cool is you can do this for any prop. So it's a lot like duplicating Except when you duplicate, when we go up here to edit, duplicate, duplicate node hierarchies, you're going to create another figure. This way, see, I can add, I have 60 figures, but they're instances. So they're, when I render, they're not going to eat up tons of memory. There's no way that I could add this many characters and, and make a, a good render and a render that's not going to take either forever or in my crash. But with these instances, I'm going to be in really good shape. Now I can select all of these guys under their one instance. So I can do that and then I can go to edit duplicate 
duplicate node hierarchies. And I can get the same uh, copy of the group and see now I've got even more, but these are all instances, so they're not gonna be eating up any memory. So I can just take these guys, we can add them to the row. I can even select on like this guy if I don't want him. I can just delete that one instance. I can delete any instances that are just not really in the right position or I can move them separately. But you see now I've got this entire army of characters. And so what I can do now is uh, get a good camera. See, I moved Milica, so all my cameras are going to be off. But you can see I can now put Milica into a pose where she has all of these guys. Now, you cannot do anything with these instances. They are just, it's like a shell of the figure. So I can't, like, move anything. I can't move their arms, I can't raise their head, I can't do anything like that. They're going to be exact clones. But this is a really cool effect to create either crowds or if you just need a lot of something in your scene, like a lot of uh, grass or you don't mind having a bunch of the same tree or something like that, you can easily easily use instances to create this amazing effect.